What's going on guys? It's Jake again, back here at RW Carbon. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to remove your OEM trunk spoiler and get your trunk prepped for install for a fresh carbon fiber one. All right, so uh, for removal, what the, uh, the most common technique I find is uh, a lot of people like to use dental floss or like fishing line. Um, which works perfectly. Um, if you were to use fishing line, I advise that it's braid and not mono line because if it rubs too much, it can pull paint off. Um, what I prefer to use is a Bondo squeegee because I feel that it's more straightforward and especially for something with this small of a footprint, it's just gonna cut right through it. So what I like to do is just get right under here and you can tell the tape isn't, isn't crazy aggressive. You can kind of move it around. I like to start it right here and what ideally, you can do this by yourself, but ideally I'd like to have someone come hold this end just because as I go along, I don't want it to bounce around and have it be uh, susceptible to scratching. So what I'm gonna do is just get a good grip here and then I'm just gonna give it one long tug. And it should just come up and ideally, a lot of it will stay on the spoiler. It looks like we got about half and half. All right, so as you can see, since we pulled it off, there is still a bunch of tape still stuck here. And uh, what I like to do, this isn't absolutely crucial, but just makes your job a little bit easier. I like to get a trim tool and I will scrape all this big chunky stuff off. And right here, if you can see, it's just lightly, lightly on there. That's where I want the whole thing to look like. I just want to sit here and scrape all of it off because I'm going to end up using an eraser wheel and if you sit here on these chunky spots too much, it gets way too hot and that could end up pulling paint and you do not want that. So I'm just gonna go through here on all these, spot, all these spots where there's a lot more tape and just kinda scrape it off. Be careful doing this, obviously. This is just to make your uh, removal a lot smoother, a little bit easier for you. This, like I said, is not completely necessary. So I had explained I was gonna use this eraser wheel to continue the removal. So pretty much all it is is just a 3M brand, just like a pencil eraser material. What it does is emulates your thumb, just scraping this off, because if you see, that does a pretty good job, but if you do it barehanded, it's just gonna mangle your thumb up. So you get one of these, and I just like to go at a nice steady speed and it just rolls it all back. It does take some time. You don't want to go too, too fast because it will get very hot. And if it gets too hot, it's gonna pull paint. And like I said, that is not what you want. What I like to do periodically is to, uh, once I go for a while, I'll stop and check it, make sure it's not too, too hot. Because like I said, it does get hot pretty quick, especially if you're pushing down pretty hard. I like to be uh, more hard on the pressure and a little soft on the speed. Because I see, I feel like if you stay at a steady, constant pressure and let the wheel do the work, it rolls back and works the most flawless. Alrighty, so uh, once the tape has all been removed, you can still see that there's still some uh, residue just from the eraser wheel and just dirt from the removal. So uh, what I like to do is get an applicator pad and I will get our carbon compound that we actually sell in our carbon fiber care kit. Um, so what I do is I get a nice healthy dollop on here. I want it to spread across pretty much the whole trunk. You don't want too, too much because you don't want it to be too wet. But what I do is I'll get my applicator pad a nice even coating and this compound has little it's a little bit gritty so it kind of takes all that dirt all that residue off this just really slight it's light residue it's nothing crazy it's not as hard as the tape or glue so I just give it some elbow grease and you could watch it honestly come off as you rub it whoops size as you can see, those lines are just about gone. And obviously I go through a couple more times just until there's no more spots. 
Alrighty, so once you have uh, wiped off all that residue from the eraser with your compound, no more imperfections, you got everything, you are ready to prep your spoiler, your truck is all good for install.